Times with big story at this hour. Gujarat's former top cop DG Vansara accused in the Isha Jahan and Sohrabuddin fake encounter cases has come out of the Sabarmati jail on bail. Now he's getting a hero's welcome. Huge crowds waited for him outside the jail with garlands and supporters shouting slogans. Let's uh, go across to Rohit Ban who joins us on the phone line. Rohit, just take us through the scenes out there. So after 12 days after bail, Vansara walks out free to a hero's welcome it seems. That's right. In fact, quite a way. He was welcome. In fact, a large number of his supporters were gathered here at the Sabarmati jail. He came out, he got on top of uh, our security vehicle and uh, started waving to the crowd as the delirious son, they started showering him with uh, flower petals. And then uh, he had a brief address uh, to his supporters saying that the Gujarat police was innocent. Officers who had spent many, many years in jail were innocent. They had done it to protect uh, innocent people. They had taken a, uh, they, they're going to stand against uh, terrorism. So clearly, sticking to what has uh, been their uh, stand uh, ever since that uh, they were innocent. Uh, but at the Sahrabadi jail, it's uh, quite a, a celebration here. Uh, though the fact remains that the trial is still to begin this case. It's just a stage where he has been uh, given a, 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 a bail by uh, the CBI court. Uh, but uh, clearly, a hero's welcome uh, for, by the supporters. And in short, short uh, time from now, he is expected to assist the media. In fact, uh, in one corner of uh, the jail papers, uh, the uh, system has been kept for his press conference. And uh, in case uh, we can cut to some of those shots, he is about to uh, come and address uh, the reporter. So clearly for him, it's uh, going to be a hero's uh, welcome. Though he's come out on bail after uh, all, uh, spending almost eight years in jail, uh, first he managed to get a, a, a bail in the Sorabuddin fake encounter case, and now Ishad Jha encounter case where he's been asked to leave uh, Ahmedabad. He is out on bail, but he announced uh, shortly that he will be taking a flight out of Ahmedabad shortly, and he will go to Mumbai. Uh, perhaps uh, we can uh, show those shots where he has just arrived in front of the cameras and perhaps he could be addressing uh, the, the press in a uh, short while. Right, uh, Rohit, but what has taken him so long, given the fact that he had bail almost 10 to 12 days earlier, what has taken him so long to come out? Well, uh, this was uh, quite a procedural uh, delay because uh, he was supposed to uh, furnish some uh, bonds first in uh, Mumbai court uh, in connection with the Sorabuddin case in which he was given a bail and now uh, the uh, Ishra Jha encounter case. And he had not furnished a bond in uh, the uh, Sorabuddin uh, case in the Mumbai court and now doing it together and uh, we were told on Sunday here finished the formalities in so far as Mumbai court is concerned. Uh, now today uh, completing uh, the formalities at the Sabarmati jail where he has uh, finally walked out uh, almost spending eight years. He was arrested in uh, 2007 along with other uh, senior IPS officers, Rajkumar Pandian, Dinesh M and uh, another officer. Uh, all of them incidentally now are, are out on bail in different, different encounters almost. Uh, barring two officers, rest all the officers are now out on bail, and most of them are these officers have been reinstated. But the fact that um, Mr. Banjara is retired during this period, right? So these are live uh, scenes that we are seeing as. Uh, the former DG Vanzara is uh, out on bail. He's had a hero's welcome. He's just waiting to speak to the press. He was garlanded. He was in an open jeep. Uh, there has been a delay, a procedural delay on him coming out, though he was granted bail in uh, uh, t about 12 days back. Procedural delay with uh, him ish uh, having to furnish uh, bail bonds. And now he's all speaking to the press.